choose to go to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm David Curley at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum where we are marking 50 years since man landed and walked on the moon in a lander just like this one. Those five decades have given us plenty of time to think of the effects of Apollo, not just on the U.S., but on mankind, all from a mission declared by a president in the midst of a Cold War. We choose to go to the moon. The challenge, to go to the moon in less than a decade, made to an American space program that was struggling. And as the Soviet Union was winning the race to space, the first satellite, the first humans in space, that was Kennedy's motivation. We spoke with two historians with accounts of man landing on the moon. I think of it as a military mission that we had to beat the Soviets because it wasn't just for global prestige, but to show the world that democracy was a more efficient form of government than, than uh, communism. And absent that, we would not have in undertaken a, a moon mission like this that we did. But that fueled the efforts to demonstrate our technological prowess. But the U.S. didn't know how to get to the moon, didn't have a big enough rocket to get there. The cost, $25 billion, controversial throughout the 1960s. That was a, a tumultuous couple of years in the late 1960s, the height of Vietnam, and urban unrest, civil unrest, and so forth. Uh, and for a very brief period of time in 69, everybody sort of paused and paid attention to this. Somewhere deep in the American DNA is this belief in pioneer spirit, frontier spirit, you know, the cowboys and explorers and Lewis and Clark, and space fulfilled that kind of romanization of the American ideal. Um, these were space cowboys. An ideal realized on that summer day in 1969. And Neil Armstrong's one of the most romanticized figures in American history, and he was the least romantic of men. He just was about mission accomplished, and I'm doing it for the sake of my country, for my government, for democracy. We did not become a spacefaring nation, but the technology that took us to the moon is now in your pocket. NASA was the first great laboratory for um, the modern economy of today. If, if you're, you know, it's the beginnings of the internet begin in 1969. The link between the tech revolution of the 70s and NASA are, are a direct linkage. And that's the world we're living in today. It's a NASA Silicon Valley world. And quality base here. The, has the U.S. putting a man on the moon just 25 years after D-Day. 500 years from now, if you think about the 20th century, this is one of two or three of the things that you will think about. First step foot upon the moon. July 20th, 1969, when humans finally broke the shackles of Earth and were able to land on the moon, to me is just an epic moment in, uh, in civilization. We came in peace for all mankind. 